Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop. It's been like two months since our last video, which was all about AI design. Mark walked you through how to use Midjourney and came up with these amazing videos. I mean, not videos, but pictures. So we've actually doing a deep dive now on AI. I think it's the best thing that's since sliced bread. It used to be like, say you were a kid. I was a kid in the 50s and I'd get Hot Rod magazines, 50s and 60s, or, or just uh, any type of car magazine, and you open the magazine and you see these really cool pictures of the cars. And you'd have to wait another month. Well, now we have a system using Mid Journey. Mark has been working every day, and he creates hundreds of designs. So I put these up on my Facebook page. We will probably put up a, a dozen or so of the, of the really good ones in this video. And uh, I came to the realization that my YouTube channel has been in the doldrums. I've been jumping from one project to the next and, you know, it, it has value, but I'd like to have some more continuity. And also on my classes, which I've had a four day class I've been doing for 18 years, taught people from all over the world. Uh, I, I got kind of bored with just doing that four day class. I want people to be a little bit more serious. So now I have a 30-day class. There was a lot of pushback, so I said, okay, I'll give in 15 days, two weeks. That's doable. And I've had no, no problem booking people for this class. So I call it a project-driven class. So I want to set the example, and I do have a lot of projects that I need finishing in the shop already, but there's not a project I don't like. These AI cars, I think, are uh, just so inspiring, and I want people to to jump on the bandwagon and see the potential of these AI cars. The designs are as good or better than any designer that's out there, and they come. The, the, we've already published probably 250 designs on on my Facebook page, and if you're not following me on Facebook, it's my Ray Shaleen Facebook page. Uh, we've got uh, one design that Mark came up with. It's Aston Martin. We got 55,000 likes on it currently. I think it's going to go to 100,000 likes. So I'm going to be posting videos on also on Facebook and YouTube. So I decided on one uh, car that Mach created using Mid Journey. It's an Alfa Romeo coupe, and it'll be an expensive build to build it. It's uh, probably a late 60s. Now, maybe 67 to maybe 71 design or so that would come out of Italy. It's an astounding, beautiful design. I says, okay, I can build that. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, use a tube frame. It could be square tube. It could be round tube. I'm not sure yet. And it'll be an aluminum body. We'll make all the interior. We'll make the dashboard, the whole bit. And we're going to video the whole process. It might be 300 videos. It might take me two years might take me three years, but that will give a, a continuity to my channel. And I think it'll be uh, a really fun build, and a lot of people will like it. I probably won't get big numbers on it, but it's a documentation. I want to be able to document this process, and uh, I, think it, I think it's a great way to do it. So I says, well, I'm going to need a donor car to pro provide power for this thing. What better donor car than would be an Alfa Romeo? Okay, what Alfa Romeo? Well, I didn't want the four cylinder. I wanted something a little bit bigger, but I didn't have a big budget. So I was familiar with these GTV sixes. And uh, I says, well, I know a little bit about them. I almost bought one a couple, three years ago to, to buy and flip. And uh, I didn't know that much about the motors, how good they were or anything. And the, uh, one of the guys that works for me, Bob, he, he knows more about them. He says, oh, yeah, they got some really good motors in them. And some of them, they're, they're uh, single overhead cam V6. And some of them, four cam motors with V6. So I go on Marketplace. And lo and behold, there's one on Marketplace. And it's, uh, it's uh, only about two and a half hours from where we are in Charlton, Massachusetts. And I have a friend that could go collect it for me. He's got a trailer. Uh, and the price was amazingly cheap. So it's a complete car that was owned by an Alfa aficionado who has another one down in Florida that he's currently driving. This one, he, had, he's been, he drove it for three or four years and it needs a restoration. It's a real rot box. 
So it was in behind uh, in the backyard, covered with with uh, the blue top, the, the classic, and it was just going to deteriorate. So he decided he was just going to sell it. He had started taking it apart. There's all kinds of uh, seats and interior parts and all that all over the place here. And we're going to be able to sell those all off. What we need is just the drivetrain. So we're going to show you the, the, the motor on it. There's nobody that makes a more sexy looking motor. And they, actually, they run really good. I've heard nothing but great reviews. I've never driven one of these. I had a little uh, 67 Alpha Duetta when I was 19 years old back in uh, 1970. And I bought that super cheap. It was only uh, it was a 67. I bought it in 70. Was it was three years old and I paid really dirt cheap money for it, but it was smashed up in the front and the back and I fixed it and I drove it for years. It was one of the most fun cars I ever drove. So here's the Alpha we got and this was all a stroke of luck. There's the motor. Of course, this is all going to be taken apart and rebuilt. It's a four cam V6. Uh, I think it's like 170 horsepower or so. We'll probably put Weber's on it and uh, I don't know how many miles are on it, but I'm sure it needs uh, new rings and bearings, and maybe if we have to bore and put pistons in it, we'll do that. And it also has a five-speed transmission. Uh, it's not a transmission. This one has a transaxle with a DD on uh, setup in the back, and it's got double A arms in the front, and we'll be able to use that all on the tube frame we build. Now this, I think, has a 94-inch wheelbase, and we're probably gonna have to stretch it maybe to 100 inches, I don't know. So on this video, I just wanted to show you, you know, what, what we got as a donor car and what our intent is. And uh, in the next video, we'll start actually doing the drawing. We'll do a, uh, a side view drawing and lay out the wheelbase and, and the proportions of, of this Alpha. And like I said, uh, Mark will put that alpha that we're going to build, which had uh, a lot of support on Facebook. I think it got 13 or 15,000 likes. I mean, I opened this up the first time, this hood, and look at this motor. And I, I see it all gleaming, polished aluminum with all the fins on the valve covers. It's got a beautiful fin sump, big aluminum uh, cast uh, sump. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And that'll look great with a new body. There's no hope for this body. And that's why I never want to restore a car ever again. As you look at all the rot that's on this thing. Uh, and this is, this is actually probably fixable. But time is better spent in all working with brand new stuff. And uh, I don't know how the roof rotted so bad. But the, the roof is all rotted. The rear quarter panels. I haven't really looked underneath so much, but I'm sure the structure underneath, this is a unibody, is, is pretty uh, weakened through internal rust in the box structures and stuff. So I'm really excited. We're going to pull this apart. We'll be able to use uh, all the geometry measurements off the front end, capturing those, and we'll reproduce them on the new tube frame. We'll use the DD on rear end. We have... Uh, these really nice cast alpha wheels, which we won't be using because we're going to put wire wheels on and uh, new tires and everything. These, I think, are 13s. We'll probably have 15s on the car that we build. Um, so we'll be able to sell a bunch of this stuff off. It's got, it came with, uh, I think, uh, Recaro front seats. We'll be able to sell those. So I'll be able to recoup a lot of the money. The glass is all good. So, you know, the windshield, somebody might need the windshield and the, and the uh, door glass. So there's a potential for recouping a lot of what I paid for it, which was small money, as I said. These are available right now. These are at the nadir of their value. And uh, for a donor car, for a really good sports car scratch build, this is a really good choice. And now I'm going to raise the prices of these because they're going to get a lot of people looking for them. So... Hope you enjoyed it. It's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. See you soon.